Joining us now, former Connecticut senator and vice presidential candidate Joe Lieberman. Mr. Senator, welcome to the program. Stuart, sir. great to be with you. You watched uh, pr uh, pr President Obama there. Yeah. Do you think that he won over Democrats, won over the base and got them out to vote? Well, he probably helped um, uh, because he's seen by the Democratic base uh, <clears throat> as, a, as a, a kind of hero. But, of course, the Democratic base, <laughs> if I may unsettle you, Stuart, has actually moved to the left of uh, Barack Obama now. That is unsettling. Sir. Yeah, yes. I thought so. <laughs> yeah, that is so, uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, th this, is a, this is a fascinating, important, and I would say still unpredictable day. But it's a tug of war, isn't it? It seemed like President Obama represents, I'm not going to say the old guard, because that's not accurate, but the establishment of the Democrat right. Party, as opposed to the younger upstarts who are indeed way to the left. I don't think President Obama fired up those way to the left as right, much. Right. That's so, just my opinion. No, no, that's probably right. Um, th there are others out there uh, trying to do that. And uh, if I may cite an example that I know you, you're concerned about, the whole U.S.-China economic relationship. Yep. So uh, President Trump has taken a more aggressive position <clears throat> in a strange way. <laughs> It is supported by some of the left of the Democratic Party, who generally have been anti-trade. Uh, Ob President Obama was, generally speaking, pro-trade. Yep. And, uh, in fact, negotiated the uh, Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, which was a, a multi-national uh, trade agreement with the Asian countries. So it's a bit, it's a bit odd. You're right. The Democratic Party has now... Uh, move beyond the Obama years. Much to my distress. Yeah. That's another story. <laughs> what, do you get, what happens if the Democrats take the House? Maxine Waters chairs the uh, Financial Services right. Committee. Adam right. Schiff chairs the uh, Intelligence Committee. Mr. Nadler chairs Judiciary. Uh, Maxine Waters, as I said, uh, Financial Services. You right. don't seem particularly um, <laughs> enthused about yeah. this. Senator. Yeah. So um, what, what happens... First, let me put in a, a word. I'm, I'm co-chair of a group called No Labels. And in the midst of all the right-left, uh, Republican, Democrat, we're actually supporting a group of Republicans and Democrats, mostly in the House, who we think will be problem solvers. That is, from the left to right, they'd find their way to the middle and negotiate and actually get something done. Those people you mentioned are unlikely to do that. So if the Democrats take the House, I think the, the main difference will be that uh, they'll be investigating, uh, yep. issuing subpoenas to the administration. But honestly, if they pass a left Democratic agenda, it's going nowhere because it takes three to tango in Washington, the House, the Senate, and the White House. But, Senator, they would have leverage when the next mm -hmm. budget debate takes place. The Democrats would surely say, we've got to raise taxes on business to pay for all this stuff that we want. And that gives them real leverage. Well, it's a good, it's a good insight. In other words, uh, there are some things that the government has to do, like the budget, and that will force some kind of agreement uh, between, uh, let's say, the Democrats who control the House, Republicans in the Senate, and the White House. And, and uh, now it's hard to imagine that uh, the Republicans in the Senate and President Trump would accept an increase in taxes. So the Democrats better come up with something else they want as part of that bargain. More yeah. likely to be spending. I'm almost out of time, but yeah. it's great to see you. <clears throat> great to see and you, no, no, wait, wait. Are you enjoying retirement? I am. Uh, <laughs> I, I obviously, I keep my finger in uh, Clearly. public policy. But I was, I was privileged, honored, blessed to be 40 years in elective office. It yeah. was... Time for the promised but do, land. But do you, <laughs> whatever you say. So, yes. Hallelujah. Don't you miss the rough and tumble, though, the excitement of it all? Every you know now and then I get up in the morning, watch TV, whatever. <laughs> oh, I wish I was there. I wish I could have called McCain or whoever. And um, Do you watch us? It passes quickly. Do you I watch do. Fox? I do. No, I really move around the dial. Yeah. But this is what an independent does. <laughs> <laughs> Senator, it was a real pleasure having yeah. you on the show. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Be well. Good day.